None of this is trading advice, financial advice. I'm telling you and I'm going out on a limb because I see an opportunity and I'm fully taking advantage of it. That is a massive move into crypto and Bitcoin right after this happening. And to give you a little bit of insight before I go into this news story out of CNBC, uh, the other night, about three nights ago, I closed out all my trading positions because of what was going on with Israel. And uh, I knew that Bitcoin to be hammered. I ended up, as it happened, I picked up Bitcoin at 60,600. I sold it at 63,100. Not that big of a deal on a percentage basis, right? I called my buddy Joe and I said, I expect Israel to retaliate. So I'm going to close out this current position, the few percent gain in a 24 hour period. And then they hit and I expected it to go down a little bit more. Didn't put my buy orders in. I missed this move of like 5%, 45 5%. That's okay. What's coming in about what I believe to be 60 days is a verified explosion in the price of, of Bitcoin. And this is why. Uh, to give you some round numbers, like in 2016 when the halving happened, we saw like 112 days before a breakout really occurred in the price of Bitcoin. The next halving, uh, the most recent one, we saw it was like 80 something days, 86, 87 days until a confirmed breakout, right? On the charts, technical breakout. I believe that you're going to see that in a shorter period of time, this time, because of all the Wall Street money moving in and more threats against, you know, geopolitics and things like that and more awareness happening. And so I'm trying to prepare this channel to watch what I'm going to do because I'm going to do what I, I do what I say I'm going to do. And so I have an active, I have a couple of trading accounts and I've been trading crypto since 2017. And I believe this is the greatest time to accumulate short-term wealth. If you know what you're doing and you have the wherewithal to be able to sell at a certain time and be able to cash out. That's another thing that's massive. Most people don't understand that. And so I want to do this video because Bitcoin is in the news, obviously, because we're about to hit the happening and you're going to see some fluctuation in price. Um, but we just announced that uh, there's less than 72 hours for our course. And when I say our course, I teamed up with a professional crypto trader that I've known for years, honestly, and he's crushed it. I've watched him on X be right so many times more than wrong. And I've made some amazing uh, gains from his calls and, and an author of a book, uh, The Bitcoin Business Accelerator. And we put together a course that I believe is the greatest value right now in the entire crypto sphere. Um, <laughs> C dog, thank you for the super chat. You're gonna make me blush. Everyone say hi to C dog. Um, with this is the most well rounded course I've ever seen, honestly, between fundamentals, technical analysis, and uh, even down to earth, like how to buy a Bitcoin, how to secure it, how to even secure your exchange accounts. Uh, this isn't being taught everywhere. You're going to put it all into one package. So less than 72 hours if you want to see the link down below. This story is out of CNBC. Bitcoin briefly uh, drops below 60,000 before rebounding ahead of the halving. Um, I already took advantage of the drop right before that one. It says here, uh, Bitcoin rose to about 64,000 at one point on Friday, rebounding from a drop below 60,000 mark as the cryptocurrency continues to experience volatility ahead of the upcoming halving event. Let me stop and say... Uh, this is a good, good test right here. Type one, if you think Bitcoin is a scam, type two, if you think it's not, and I'm not going to embarrass anyone, but I'm going to teach you something that probably to all the people that hit one, you may, I might just completely change your paradigm here. Okay. Because it is important to say the truth. Hey, I think it's a scam. All right. Um, I can prove to you in five minutes. It's not, but that's okay. Let's, let's just go with it. So there's a lot of people that are type ones. A lot of people are type twos. All right. Here's the deal. The tulip mania made some people very wealthy. You know who made money? People that sold tulips before it crashed, okay? Uh, who lost money? The people that held the tulips, copy. Uh, the alpaca uh, craze of the early 90s or 80s, remind me everyone, there was an alpaca craze where people thought alpacas were gonna go extinct and they were buying up alpacas, or was it ostriches? No, it was ostriches. The os emu maze? No, it was emus. Please remind me. I think it was emus. Anyway, whatever. In America, we saw this. All throughout history, there's these crazes, right? We've seen beanie babies. We've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. You need to spot the trends. But check this out. This uh, It's so hard to like, hey, make money from a scam. Um, that's like the most obvious thing, right? 
people are like, oh, it's a scam. Okay, well, Wall Street's now pushing it and they're selling it and they're storing it. They're actually like, they don't even want you to own it. They're saying, buy our ETFs, we'll, we'll custody it. That should show you a lot, <laughs> um, how big of a deal it is. But let me explain this. This is the most basic thing. Do you know how Bitcoin is absolutely so incredible? It's because the code is written in a way that every co uh, computer that runs the code, that maintains the network, when I say maintain, when anyone spends a Bitcoin or a fraction of a Bitcoin, it records it on the ledger, right, forever. And then um, it has to be backed up by a minimum of, let's say, three or four uh, other computers before... Uh, it is now on the network and then ultimately every single computer around the world that's running the Bitcoin network and making money doing this because it's spitting out Bitcoins, all these computers that are doing this, they have to have what's called consensus. 100% of the computers have to ultimately agree, right? And uh, so what happens in that code, it also says there's only a certain amount of Bitcoin that will ever be made ever, 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 ever. That's it, right? And there's these events like what's happening right now, the halvening, meaning that after the halvening later tonight, uh, Bitcoin rewards will be half of what they are today, ultimately leading to a day where there's no more Bitcoins being made. There's never been ever a technology on earth holding back a human being from printing more of something, making more of something, right? The tulip manias before, were because the thought that tulips were going extinct and they were going to be very valuable, that's what made them valuable. Beanie Babies, the same thing, because they're rarity, their scarcity. Same thing with emus. It doesn't matter, right? It's the same thing. Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies that are out there, there's never been a time where you can run the, the, the protocol on your computer, get paid to do so in Bitcoin, and you're upholding the network and your computer's telling everyone else's computers, like the ones at the Federal Reserve, the ones at all these rich people's houses, things like that. Um, no, that's not a real Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, that's real Bitcoin. That's built. And it's never happened before. And that's why it's such a foreign idea. A decentralized distributed ledger is so foreign. Most people can't wrap their minds around it. Let me ask you this. That's a very simple, quick way of answering that question or showing people. Type three, if that makes more sense, the way I explained it. I'm just curious if anyone went, okay, that makes sense. But what's funny, even if, even if it was a 100% scam, which is not, um, people are going to lose their minds when it hits certain dollar amounts. And people will hit, lose their mind. Um, and it's interesting because someone like this gentleman, I'm not going to call you out your name, but it's okay. It says it's not decentralized though, because ETFs made it centralized. No, what ETFs did is create a massive amount of buying pressure because those that don't want to learn how to buy and store Bitcoin and those that are held by certain standards inside of their funds, their, their uh, prospectus said they can't buy certain things. Now that money can flow in and be custodied by someone else. Essentially, the government figured out a really neat way of controlling all the Bitcoin. And when you understand, and you're going to see how high the price is going to go, you'll understand why originally I believe it was a PSYOP to get people into buying off on a digital currency. Yeah. And when people lose their minds after a $100,000 Bitcoin, um, they're going to be more likely to be able to jump into something else. Okay. Because it's going to be ultimately the price that forces the masses into cryptocurrency. And ultimately, the goal is that you're not allowed to buy own it but the government will never outlaw it. You want to know why? Because the second they outlaw something, people revolt and then they go buy it or they figure out a way of getting it. What they just are going to do is they're going to control it and then most people will now buy off on the idea of a centralized digital currency. I, I hope that makes sense. Type three if it does. Um, but there's a lot of money to be made. So what we did is we went out and we decided, okay, we're going to show people how to make money from it. There's risks involved with everything. So you've got to understand all your risks. You could lose all your money. Um, but we're going to teach you the fundamentals that keep you uh, solid when things turn down. We're going to teach you the technical analysis when uh, you can uh, move in and out, when there's a higher probability of a move going, uh, whether it goes up or down, right? That's what professional traders do. And I've never shared any of this stuff, but I had to wait until there was a confirmed breakout and between the halvening and the ETFs coming out. I know exactly how much human emotion and money is about to push into this sector. And we're not talking about just the United States. We're talking about worldwide. And not only do you have the ETFs coming out of Wall Street, but you now have Hong Kong pushing ETFs. And now uh, rest of Asia is going to start pushing out ETFs in the next uh, 
four to five months. Why? Because governments around the world know, oh, this is the way to control the crypto. And they're going to make a lot of money from it. And a lot of people are going to feel rich, like people that own gold ETFs. Oh, I feel rich until you try and cash it out. So I want to teach you the difference between how to make money through the ETFs, how to make money with physical Bitcoin, how to do all that kind of stuff. And so um, we put the course out and I'm going to be honest. And so what we did, there was one piece that was missing and we filled that gap. Um, there's less than 72 hours to the sale. You can go ahead and click that link. It's like 189 bucks. After that, it goes back to the thousand bucks. Here's the thing. We have a sale that when you buy the course, um, Joe, my friend, that's this is what he does for a living. He does weekly AMAs and uh, he does trade calls, takes your questions, and he'll throw out uh, markers, trade markers, as far as like when he's pushing in, when he's scaling out, things like that. It's 69 bucks a month. It's a monthly subscription. You can you can cancel whenever you want, but right now it's not 69, it's going up to 99. Uh, after this 72 hours, because that's one piece that a lot of people fail to, they need, but they don't, they're not given that level of instruction. And Joe is actually a, a well-educated, not only statistician, but, uh, an instructor, a teacher. So he knows how to teach people. So I wanted to fix that up quick. Now, here's the other thing. A lot of people don't understand, uh, if we take away the fundamentals of Bitcoin and a decentralized ledger, if you look at what's coming with all of these news headlines, like out of CNBC right now, you have to understand an emotional wave. Most people buy, whether it be real estate, cryptocurrency, stocks, or like that, they don't buy until the top one third of the price. And that top one third of the price on this next cycle is going to be happening within the next six months. Okay. This is sort of a short term thing. And people, you need to be trained on that because there's going to, it's going to pump to levels that'll blow your mind and it's going to drop, all right? And you need to learn when to buy and when to sell <laughs> and then take those profits and turn them into the next cycle, in my opinion, to be silver and then and real estate, okay? In that order, actually. Um, even if silver goes to $50, that will pale in comparison to the gains in crypto, okay? Winners only win when they sell. Gains or losses are only realized when you sell. End of story. You make money two different times in a trade, the day you buy, the day you sell, end of story, or you lose on either of those. And you need to know when to get in, when to get out. Okay. So I filled that gap. Um, you're going to see, you know, more of these stories. And when Bitcoin right now, you've got it, you know, this is CNBC, it rose above 64, you know, after it dropped to 59 tonight, imagine what's going to happen in the headlines when Bitcoin's at a hundred thousand dollars. Every, about probably nine out of 10 people um, that own Bitcoin that I know as friends or family, if I asked them, was there a day when you thought it was a scam? Every single, uh, nine out of 10 easily went, oh yeah. There was like one person goes, no, I heard it. And I go, that sort of makes sense. And he went and researched it. And so all you're about to see is the masses go from, it's a scam, it's a scam to, oh crap, why, why didn't I buy this earlier? Most people don't want to admit that though. So uh, it's the same thing when you're explaining, you know, purchasing gold or uh, silver, many people think it's a scam because they're just not used to it. They don't know the intrinsic value. So I wanted to bring you that information. Uh, if you want, it, it's no big deal. It's just, there's going to be a lot of people on the sidelines and I don't want you getting in when Bitcoin hits a hundred grand. That's because the move from a hundred to 140 will probably happen pretty dang fast and it will suck you in. It's like akin to when I started buying silver at $18 an ounce and I was buying rapidly after 35, 45 bucks an ounce and it topped and then it came down. Well, I didn't walk away and piss and moan. I knew the fundamentals. So I bought more, more, more. And I did that every time crypto corrected. Uh, I've told you the story. I took 10 grand. It turned into a million in a year in crypto in 2017, 2018. That is the truth. Um, a lot of those projects now are worth nothing because they were crap projects, okay? The main chains are important. You're about to see a push in AI, AI coins and meme coins that will melt faces and a lot of people will hold onto them for too long, not understand how to get out of them and make the money and they will be net losers. I mean, you see the Dogecoin millionaire video with that gentleman. I I know him personally. I met him personally a couple of times. We've had talks. You know, he had a million dollars in Dogecoin. Boom, it's gone now. It's worthless. 
right? Well, it's, it's still worth something. He's pushing back to a million now. But my point being is that he went through that cycle and he held on. That's not what you want to do in these things. You want to get in and get out. You want to click buy. You want to click sell. You want to know your uh, averages. Your um, You want to be diversified. And then you pull out and you put into cash. That was a real story that I went through. I took 10 grand. It went up to a hundred grand in four months, five months in crypto. My first ever, it was the most amazing gains. I pulled 40 grand out and I put it into another asset class. And I said, whether it goes up or down, I don't care. I'm a winner. I turned 10 grand to 40. Well, guess what? That's 60 grand that was left. That's what went to a million during the ICO craze. Well, guess what? I learned a lot of lessons. This one, much bigger opportunities, much bigger. And so you've got to learn. And the only thing that got me through that first ICO craze is I had two buddies that were actively trading crypto and it was like they're eat, breathing, sleeping it for a year. And we would talk like you wouldn't believe. And we would talk each other off of cliffs and that's what you actually need. But when you're not around a, a group that's like that, and that's why we provided it, um, you're going to have a hard time. So I'm, I'm warning you. Get ready. It's going to pump. People are going to make tons of money. If you don't know how to get out, how to scale out, you're going to end up being a bag holder. Okay. For another cycle, um, on cryptos, there are going to be a lot of people that pay a hundred, 140 grand for some Bitcoin. And, and I'm talking like, they'll put like a thousand bucks in right when Bitcoin's at that price. Cause you can buy a fraction of it and then it's going to tank and they're going to be holding the bag for a while. All right. Nothing wrong with that. I've been holding since, uh, 2017, but I've gotten a lot wiser, a lot smarter from the bruises and the scrapes, and I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. And now it will be, and, and that's how this channel started, actually. Uh, it started because of my understanding of blockchain tech and it blew up. And then I just went, whoa, 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 wait, I don't, I didn't want to go that direction. Now I'm like, all right, we have, we have got a pretty awesome runway right now. And the Federal Reserve, the SEC, the government are all letting it fly for a reason. Because we're moving into this next crash and you're going to see that digital currency come out and it's going to be adopted a lot easier when people saw the gains or saw how you can spend crypto. I don't spend my crypto on coffee or pizza for a specific reason. I'm here to make money. End of story. All right. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching. There's less than 72 hours on both those sales. If you want to look at it, Crypto Trader Pro. After that, it goes to a thousand bucks. And then we're going to drop this for about a month and a half. And we're going to revisit this exact topic and the price. And the only question will be, did you get ready ahead of time? Or are you sort of catching up and hopefully not losing your mind? Hope you got something out of this. The Economic Ninja is out.